Ellsworth's Extraordinary Ears and Other Amazing Alphabet Antidotes by Valerie Fisher. Alstar had an alarming appetite for acrobats. Betty believed in a big but balanced breakfast. Charlton's curious carousel captivated the colorful carnival crowds. Dot dreamed of driving a delightfully dainty dump truck. Ellsworth's extraordinary electric ears were endlessly, endlessly entertaining. Fancy feathered fashions were favored by Floyd's farm's friends. Gwendol's good-looking gorillas were great gardeners. Holly was hugely happy in her humble handbag home. It's incredible. Iger's got ice cream was irresistible. Josie joined Judy on a jittery, jerky, jolly jam on her jackrabbit. Kyle's kids kept kits kites in their kitchen. Lucy's lopsided laundry line was loaded with long, loopy letters. Mario's mechanical mustache machine made many mistakes. Nigel's nifty newspaper neckties were nothing but a naughty nuisance. Otis often observed ostriches on opening night at the opera. Pepita's pink paper parasols were particularly popular with pirates, perfectly puzzling. Quentin quickly quieted the quibbling, quarreling, and quacking of the quintuplets. Ruby was really rather remarkable at refrigerator rocket repairs. Supermarket salad snacking was Stanley's super, super summer sport. Trust Trevor to tell you, typing on a trapeze was terribly tricky. Uncle Upton usually utensilizes were unbreakable, forgettable, unforgettable, and utterly useless. Vacationing in the valley of a violent volca volcano was a very aggravating for Violet. Wilbur worked wonders with wallpaper. Exanthia's x-ray explained her exprusence. Yates yelled yippee for yellow. Zelda's zigzag zebra was, zippy, was at the zippiest at the zoo. The end.